Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is a little bit different. I actually did a one week challenge and I wanted to do more of these on my channel, but for this one I wanted to do something that was a little bit simpler. I wanted to see what my skin would look like throughout the week if I didn't set it with any translucent or pressed powder. So nothing set under the eyes, nothing on the rest of the face or anywhere in the T-zone, no powder at all. So if you wanna see the results that I got throughout this week, then please keep on watching. So it is the beginning of day one. I just finished my makeup, I wanna say half hour ago. And this is what it looks like so far. I haven't been wearing my glasses for that long, clearly. There's major creasing right here, a couple lines here, and obviously my smile line is out of control. It's gonna be more out of control now since I'm talking, but overall I actually like the way that I look right now, even though I look crazy. I think that my skin just looks very healthy and very glowy and dewy right now, which is what I wanted, but I'm just really nervous about this situation. Obviously just all of the really bad areas and even my chin is like kind of acting up a little bit already. I'm going in for a seven and a half hour shift today and a lot of my job is about carrying product, opening up boxes and things like that and frequently I will hit my face or I will be carrying stuff and it will hit my chin or something like that so I'm just worried about contaminating product with my face. I'm just nervous about everything enhancing my fine lines and everything like that. So for reference what I used is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation, glowy foundation obviously, and then the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation combined with it. And that one is more of like a matte finish. And then the concealer is the Fenty Beauty Concealer, and the contour is the Fenty Matchstick. The only powder that I have on my face right now is the Amrezy Highlighter, because I don't really have that many glowy highlighters. I will only be able to up update you guys when I come home, which is around 11.30 at night, and I will give you an update there um, just to show you guys what happened because I can't film at work, obviously. So, yep, this is what it looks like now. Issues with the nose. Yeah, so day one of this test. Yeah, so we'll just see how today goes. All right, guys, it's about 11.30. I just got home from work, and this is the best lighting that I can find right now, but I'm kind of shook, to be honest. My skin looks just as it would look if I wore powder for eight hours, and this is, like, more than eight-hour wear time. Like, there's a lot less creasing in here than I'm used to, and here as well. And like my nose creases are just as bad as they usually are if I'm wearing powder or if I'm not. And under eye creases like are almost non-existent, which is kind of like freaking me out a little bit. My pores not cute. Let's just get that out of the way. Chin, same deal, not cute. But everything looks exactly the same as it would if I was wearing powder. And I'm kind of like confused, like I did not expect day one to go this well, so pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna go ahead and have a snack and then go to bed. Yeah, I'll have a snack and go to bed. Obviously I'm gonna take my makeup off. Other than that, this is like not as bad as I thought it would be. And I also got one compliment on my skin today. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, day one is completed. All right, let's go to day two. Okay, day two in a little bit of a different lighting situation for the third time. But today I used two matte foundations, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless with the e.l.f. Flawless Finish again and the same Fenty Beauty Concealer. I was going to put on primer, the NYX Shine Killer Primer, but somehow I forgot even though it was staring me right in my fat face. But you know what? This is fine. We still have another five days to go. The only thing I'm really just concerned about is this area right here. Ignore my nails. I need to get a nail polish remover. I don't even own any, so don't say anything. But anyway, this is the only area that I'm concerned about. I feel like everything else will be really good. So we'll just see how, like, the pore area goes. But So everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, the contour is the same. So this should be a pretty good control group, if you will. So this is the Amrezy highlighter that I'm wearing. The only powder that I have on my face, once again, I want to reiterate. Today's shift is only four hours and 30 minutes. I know it's it's a slowed season, but yeah, today should be really quick and then I'll wear it into the night again. But yeah, it's a little bit earlier that I put this on, so we'll see if it stands the test. All right. Okay, guys, it is now around 7.40, I think. My boyfriend's playing Fortnite and screaming. 
so um, I'm gonna make this quick but this is pretty much the eight hour I guess check mark um, I finished my makeup around a little bit before 1230 I have nothing to report except the fact that my skin looks great there's the creasing with the glasses once again but my under eyes like barely any creasing um, when I first applied it there was a little creasing under here but it's kind of not really that noticeable anymore my smile lines are almost non-existent my forehead line are also almost non-existent and the only thing once again that is bothering me are the pores and that's it chin is fine but yeah it's just the pores area that's really bothering me so I don't understand the sorcery right now but once again it's only day two and I still have a lot more different uh, combinations of foundation that I want to try different concealers that I want to try still so yeah I'm gonna try at some point to see what my boyfriend thinks about my skin because nobody has been saying Saying that it looks different or oilier or anything like that no negative comments and my boyfriend's usually the first one to be very honest about it but it doesn't seem like he's noticed anything so once he's done playing that god-awful video game then we'll ask him I'm watching the assassination of Gianni Versace right now I'm almost done with it uh, it's really good if you guys are looking for something to watch this is the first I guess uh, update for day two and then I'll check in with my boyfriend but yeah yeah, no touch-ups, nothing. Kind of feeling it. So, yeah. So, Kel, what? have you noticed anything different about my face makeup? Yeah. What have you noticed? This isn't a trick question. I'm doing something new. You're using less of something. Less what? Eye stuff. <laughs> Ignore my eyes. <laughs> I'm on the spot. Um... He acts like this is like CNN or something. You gotta give me a hint. Explain to me. You need a hint. I said ignore my eyes. So what else is there? Your lips. No. <laughs> Your nose. No. <laughs> Your cheeks. Just my face. If you haven't noticed anything, then that's good. Yeah, I haven't. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. What I'm doing is I'm not putting on powder. That's what it is. So, does it look good? Does it look bad? What do you- Looks better. It looks better? Yeah. Not as much product, though. Oh, so you don't like that much product. I didn't say that. So I've had this makeup on since like around 12.30 and I think it looks pretty good. Obviously like the forehead is disintegrating, my pores are disintegrating, my nose is practically, there's no makeup on it anymore, cool. but gotten two compliments so far. One from Kevin, one from a customer. So yeah, we'll just see if I can manage the rest of the week with no powder on and what happens. I just have to say I'm very impressed with the way that like there's so much less creasing underneath my eyes than there usually is when I put on concealer and stuff like that um and i've put on a lot of product under there so it's kind of interesting that there's less creasing from it than if i were to put powder on so yeah i'm gonna go take this off now and kevin's gonna go to bed so all right that is done for day two so i messed up today is friday and the last time i updated you guys was wednesday so we're just gonna try to start new today. today i spent the entire day editing a video that flopped so but we are gonna do the full coverage look gonna do that take a couple of instagram photos so that we at least have like photographic testing for this challenge to see if my skin looks good in photography just gonna not use a primer today um we're gonna save that for tomorrow i think yeah so i don't think that i completely messed up because I didn't put on any makeup yesterday so it's not like I put on makeup and set it or anything like that I just didn't do anything so instead we're gonna extend this experiment I don't think it'll be that bad it might take a little bit longer to edit but we'll see how that goes yeah we're just gonna get right into it so today I'm going to be going in with the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation one of my faves and we don't have that many other full coverage foundations I'm just gonna go ahead with the L'Oreal infallible again which we use for day one um there's not much left of this so i just want to kind of get rid of it it's going to add a little bit more dewiness and has a medium coverage already so it's just going to add to the coverage i'm going to go ahead and watch the rest of the assassination of johnny Versace, and i'm going to do a time lapse of my makeup Alright, 
right, so I did my base, and this ain't it, Chief. I think I put way too much foundation on, and that probably was the worst idea I could have done. I didn't realize that I was doing that much, but everything just kind of spilled out onto my beauty blender, and I just pulled through. So I don't think that this is going to last too long. I'm already getting creases in my smile lines, and overall it just looks really cakey. I know on camera it probably doesn't look that bad, and I probably look like a ghost. <sighs> I'm a little regretful right now. I really messed up, I feel like, but you know what? This is just another thing that's happening in my life. Another thing that is going to step on my toes. So we're just gonna pull through it. We're gonna try our best to make it work. I obviously have to still do the brows and I'll probably put on a lash just to round everything out and hopefully like highlighter can save things. I'm just going to set the contours and then do highlighter and then that'll be it. Just because I wanna, you know, enhance everything so that it looks really good for photography so um because that's the end game other than that this probably a flop but we're just gonna keep on trucking on and i will show you guys the end result as it were of this look and then i will take my photos and we'll do check-ins throughout the night flop okay so it is now 9 45 p.m i think i finished my makeup around 5 15 so it's been almost five hours and i can say that this wasn't the best round there's a lot of creasing from my glasses it's a little bit further down because i was wearing the small ones and wearing big lashes so i had to kind of push it all the way down so it wasn't bugging me and poking my eyes out but yeah this was a weird situation i think i just once again put on way too much foundation and I put on the Born This Way concealer instead of the Fenty one this time around. Um, I don't know if that affected anything dramatically, but yeah, my skin for the most part still looks good, but it doesn't feel good, if that makes sense. Uh, everything feels really goopy and even though I think all of the products really set pretty nice as far as like drying down and melting in with the skin, I feel like it still has a layer of slick sitting on top of everything and it doesn't feel comfortable to wear. I used a a small amount of concealer to kind of counteract that but still it just didn't work out and yeah my skin just feels really irritated and like I just really want to like rip it off you know however I will say that my skin took to all the products pretty nicely like everything looks pretty much in place everything still looks pretty blended and put together and I guess if you saw me in person you probably wouldn't think that anything was different I probably just look a little bit greasier an indicator that I've been wearing this for a while but I've only been wearing this for five hours so today was a hit or miss i guess you could say i'm mm -hmm. not gonna sing it today was kind of a flop but i still pretty much like the results just not in love with it i'm gonna see if i could try this again tomorrow with a lot less foundation instead of like a jar full tomorrow will be another test with a little bit more time of wear and now knowing what we know now it'll be probably a lot better in the meantime i will see you guys tomorrow Okay, I'm gonna go rip this off now. Bye. Alright guys, <clears throat> that's the first word I spoke all morning. Um, it is now 9.50. Uh, I have a seven and a half hour ship today, starting at 10. So I thought I'd check in really quick with you guys. Um, I'm in my car, oh my god! This piece of shit that's almost killed me three times. Yes! Okay, so I did the same combination that I did yesterday. Uh, that includes the concealer as well. Too Faced Born This Way. NARS Luminous All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Everything looks pretty good. Once again, when I finished, I still had like stuff in my uh, laugh lines and creasing majorly underneath the eyes, but I'm assuming that that's gonna go away very soon. Plus, I put down the NYX Shine Killer Primer underneath on the T-zone, all the problem areas, so hopefully we have a much better result than we did yesterday. I used a lot less foundation and everything this time as well, so hopefully things are going to be a lot better. I'm, I'm That's what I'm hoping, but yeah, I'll try to update you guys later. I have my meal break around 3 o'clock or so, and I'll come back out here and let you guys know how it looks. If not, then you guys will see me around 6 o'clock when I get home, so yeah. I think I look really good, especially in car lighting. Car lighting always lies to you. It plays you more than Facetune does, if we're really being honest here. But yeah, I really like the way that I look today, so... Let's see if we get any compliments. That's another test. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.
So it's almost four o'clock and honestly guys, I have not even checked my makeup this entire day. This has been one of the worst shifts in my entire life. I've spent 90% of it ringing up people at the registers because of how randomly busy it got and how nobody was put on to do cash registers. So I've just been completely discombobulated. I've been frustrated. I've been yelled at. I got sexually harassed. So you know what? I don't really care that much about how my makeup looks. In fact, I want it to look bad. I want it to look bad so that people don't bother me, so that people don't fuck with me and that people don't talk to me because I'm fucking sick of this shit. I never thought that I would be the type of person to like lose it on camera, but like I'm so close to just breaking down in tears, just leaving and never coming to work ever again because I just like I've had bad days here. I had bad days at my previous jobs, but this is beyond anything. I just, just pure sociopaths. Like, I just can't even deal with it. And you know what? I don't care that you think that I'm 18 years old and you want to tell me that I need to find a man who's going to sexually satisfy me because I don't think with my brain and I only think with my heart. And so, like, this is the shit that I'm dealing with today and I'm not even playing with you people. I'm done being quiet. I'm so glad that I yelled at that guy and told him to fuck off because, like, how are you going to come up to me and ask me about brush heads for your toothbrush <laughs> and then all of a sudden get into a whole rant about how cute I look and how women only think with their with their hearts and not their brains and are easily manipulated and when we get with a man we need to mother them like this isn't about the makeup anymore and i'm always told like you need to go to work and wear makeup you need to look presentable well this is what fucking happens when i wear makeup to work god forbid i want to take a day to look ugly so no one fucking bothers me the guy had gray hair he was all by himself and he just feels the need to tell me that i need to find sexual pleasure with a man and to trust god like i'm sick of these fucking freaks dude I'm sick. I'm sick of it. Half of these people don't even care about who you are as a human being. They just want their shit and they want to get out. And it's like, well, I want to get out too, okay? I wish I didn't have to do this job. I wish that I had a normal job. I really do. Because this shit is no fucking joke. I don't take too kindly to being disrespected if you couldn't fucking tell. I haven't eaten all day. I'm tired. My feet hurt. My back hurts. I'm so done, man. I'm so done. Gotta love Aquarius season, right? Anyway, makeup looks fine. There's nothing out of place. There's no creases in my mouth anymore. There's no creases underneath my eyes except like one little flap. And there's a couple of creases in my forehead from how much I've just been angry at people on making this face. So that's cool. But overall, my skin looks really nice. And you know what? My T-zone is matte and I don't really see my pores. So that's fine. I just want to get out of here to be quite honest with you. It's no longer about the makeup today. I'm supposed to go to dinner tonight with my boyfriend. Thank God. All right, that's it. Take care, guys. See you later. Try to cheer up a little bit. Okay, guys. So today I did something a little bit different. Yesterday, I'm sorry that I didn't do a final check-in, but me and Kevin just went out to eat with some friends, a family of his, and just kind of use it as a way to de-stress and calm down a little bit after such a weird check-in that I had. So I'm feeling a lot better today. If if you guys are curious, I did report it to one of my team leads and they subsequently reported it to security. I don't know what's gonna happen from it. You know, it felt a little bit better that I said something because last time I was sexually harassed, I didn't say anything. So this was a little bit better of a situation. I'm sorry to leave it on such a weird note, but I think it is important as a woman to kind of mention these things as they happen instead of waiting. So I just wanted to just be completely forthcoming and say what happened as it happened so that everybody knows that it occurred so yeah um but today i'm feeling a lot better the makeup yesterday it didn't change a lot and it was pretty much the same throughout the night and it looked really good and i was very pleasantly surprised today i decided to go a little bit lighter with the makeup i'm just wearing a gloss no eyelashes or any mascara even and today's combo is one that i did i think the second day that i started this which was the maybelline and the e.l.f. flawless finish foundation no primer again but today i decided to go ahead with the instant age rewind from maybelline i wanted to see if i could get the same results that i've been getting from high-end concealers with this one because i wasn't using anything from the drugstore so i wanted to see if i would get a similar result so i'm not gonna be wearing this terribly long i'm really not in a makeup mood today but my apartment is a disaster so i was thinking about just cleaning it up just coming back occasionally to show you guys if any, there's been any changes or anything like that. This makeup has been on for, I guess, I want to say half hour or so. It is almost two o'clock now. I just had breakfast. 
It's my first meal of the day, so yeah, it's still technically breakfast to fight me. So yeah, that is my update for right now. Uh, I will see you guys in a few hours. Right, so it is five o'clock. It's been a little over three hours since I've had this makeup on. I actually haven't even looked in the mirror yet. I've been the entire day cleaning my kitchen and clearly nothing else. So um, yeah, let's just take a look. A lot more under eye creases than I'm used to. It's actually like kind of fanning out on my skin the way like crow's feet would. But other than that, everything looks pretty much the same as it would if I was wearing uh, a full coverage concealer. It's very interesting that my eyes are doing that because I don't even think that I've had my glasses off so I wouldn't have needed to squint that much. So not exactly sure why that happened. The makeup rubbed off from where my glasses were sitting on my nose. This happened with every single combo that we've done. And this smile line is just a little bit worse than it's been with like my other combos that I've tried. But other than that, the forehead looks pretty nice. And the pores don't look as bad either. It's a little bit oily. But um, once again, it's only been about three hours. So I think that this has probably been the worst one but it's not even that bad. So overall, I would say that the combos that I've been trying have been really good. There's a lot more emphasis in the T-zone than if I were to use a matte concealer or something a little bit more creamy. Overall, I've noticed that, especially in photos, the biggest issue that I'm coming into contact with is my hollowness underneath my eyes. I don't have any bags per se. Other than that, like the hollowness in my under eyes is what is really showing up in lighting that isn't like natural lighting. So I was taking photos uh, the other night and I wasn't having like the best results. The emphasis on my hollows of my eyes is really pronounced and it looks extra shiny and it's also making me look a little bit older. And I noticed that that's like one of the only things is the problem with this challenge. It doesn't happen too bad when I'm wearing like more matte concealers like I said, but even after a couple of hours they get bad too because just the oils in my face are yeah that's been an issue but other than that I haven't really felt like I needed to put powder anywhere else you know this entire challenge in itself was a test to see where I actually need to put powder. I've known a lot of people that don't use any powder on their face and their skin looks beautiful and I was wondering like, you know, could I do something like that? Like, there's been a few hiccups here and there and I think that it's been a really rewarding experience and at the end of it we'll know w where I need to put powder and not being the type of person that puts it on the entire face and just makes myself look more dry and cakey. So yeah, this has been kind of interesting, but yeah, this is me after three hours using a drugstore concealer and drugstore foundations. And I still love the way that my skin looks. All right, bye. Okay guys, so this is the next day. I did the same concealer, the Maybelline Age Rewind, and instead of Maybelline foundation, instead I did the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow with the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. And I can say that for a fact, the Maybelline Age Rewind is probably doing the worst out of all of the concealers that I have tried. And frankly, that is all the evidence that I need for this entire experiment. I've pretty much made up my mind at this point. I think you guys get the point of what is going down. And I'll probably sum up all of my thoughts uh, tomorrow when I film the outro. But yeah, this experiment, it, it showed me a lot of interesting things. It showed me some things that I wasn't expecting. And Show me some stuff that that I originally thought was going to be the outcome but I didn't think was going to be that extreme most notably with the age rewind today a similar thing from yesterday is happening uh, I'm getting a lot of crow's feet wrinkles around here that's pretty much all that I have to note other than that my skin pretty much looks good I would say a little bit of creasing underneath the eyes just like normal creasing and a little bit of stuff in the forehead and the smile lines. I feel like if I say that again, then you guys are just gonna get tired of me. So it's really pointless to keep on doing this for a couple more days. I, I've pretty much made up my mind about how I feel about this. I can just say that I really had fun trying this out and hopefully I'm proving to you guys that you don't need to do all the things that you see in beauty tutorials and that you could kind of play around with your makeup and not just stick to a certain routine forever. And once again, I'll wrap up all my thoughts tomorrow. Right now it is five o'clock. I put this makeup on, finished around two 
2 o'clock today, so this is what we have now. I doubt it's going to change. I just really hate the age rewind. That is the one thing that I've determined from this entire experiment is that the age rewind concealer is not my friend. I think that it was more so all about the concealer and how it performed than the foundations because overall they all performed pretty well. The matte ones I preferred a little bit more. Today, like, there's a lot more creasing because I'm using more of a glowy foundation here. This pretty much last check-in and then tomorrow I'm just gonna round up all my thoughts. All right, last day. Let's keep on trucking on. See you tomorrow. All right, so that is the end of this video. This was very fun to experiment with and I didn't think that it was gonna be going the way that it wound up going. Some things that I want to point out is that the that the results varied here and there depending on the products that I used, which I expected. My more dewier products such as the dewier foundations and the dewier concealers wound up making my skin look a little bit more run down quicker than it would when I was wearing matte products. The dewy products also emphasized a lot of things that I didn't want to emphasize, such as under eye hollowness and some creasing around my mouth. What was interesting is that the matte products actually emphasized my pores area which my dewy stuff didn't do too much of. Even when I was wearing primer, it was a little bit hard to control in that area, but I was able to kind of come up with a concoction that I liked for my skin. So the concoction that I have on my face today is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, which is more matte, and the Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal, which is more dewy. And then for my concealer, I have the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. That, in my opinion, is what performed the best. The Maybelline Age Rewind performed the worst, and the Too Faced Born This Way was just okay. Overall, I would say that this ex experiment taught me what to do and what not to do with powder. I realized that I don't really need to bake and set all un under my eyes, and I don't have to extend it that far out. The only places that I feel like I really need to set is immediately the circle in between my brows, where I have my frown lines, and then right up under here, which could just be a line of powder for the creases underneath my eye and just set the pores. It's not really necessary for me to set my smile lines because my smile lines actually looked better when I didn't set them throughout this week. Those are the only places that I really need to set. And I encourage a lot of you to try this out yourselves. Like I know that powder has kind of been ingrained in us, especially loose translucent powder. If you are somebody who doesn't have extremely oily skin, I think that this could be beneficial to you in your makeup process to stop doing. I think I think it'll help to reduce the signs of aging and fine lines. A lot of the stuff that we use on our faces can produce more wrinkles and produce more problems than we want to have later on down the road when we get older. I think that it's a good idea to hold back a little bit and really assess where you actually need powder. Once again, this wasn't for me to say that powder is bad or that we shouldn't be using it at all. Rather, this was a way of me trying to see if I really needed to put powder everywhere or if I just need to put it on spot areas. So that is what I came to the conclusion of throughout this week. Once again, I had a great time doing this and I now know a little bit more about how my skin reacts to powder, but see what's in your repertoire as far as foundations and concealers and see what you could use to maybe do something new with your makeup routine. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week. Yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will be posting every single Thursday. Occasionally I will have a bonus video up here in there but primarily it's going to be Thursdays around five o'clock or a little bit later depending on the editing schedule. Like this video if you haven't already and you enjoyed it and follow me on all my other social media accounts. They will be at the end of this video and they are linked in the description as well and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!